And now on this one I will be testing the uh, locked Yorkfield Q9450, which is actually one of the more popular end CPU models of this CPU lineup. The target end frequency for CPU-Z is close to 4.7, but the current rank 1 score is actually made up pretty high FSP 595, so it will be very on the edge, can I nail that down, but I should be able to, because even that one is made on the ASRock P45X3 Deluxe. I'm using the Kimping Cooling F1 Dark, CPU container on the CPU, Kimping Cooling KPX Thermal Paste, Northbridge, I'm using the Kimping Cooling Northbridge container, the uh, pot is actually made a bit smaller or lower by sawing, like two centimeters up from the pot, and I'm using the barked P45 uh, IHS, but it's actually pretty hard to use that IHS because sometimes it's very hard to get the actual uh, like proper contact with the CPU die when you are using that one so you need to be a bit careful and uh, if you don't have uh, enough contact you could have some issues getting the FSP uh, very high and stable that is for with memories. Two sticks of course a dominated CDX2 memory which will be run at 1500 plus CAS5 NVIDIA 6500 GT with capture card for monitor single as always and Corsair AX1600i power supply which is now my favorite power supply for these older platforms. So I'll start in Windows XP and then Server 2003 for the single for that stuff. So uh, I tried to figure out some of the operating system issues I had regarding efficiency for W Prime but we'll see what happens. It's not so always easy to fix those. I'll get the CPU cold first and then I'll move to Northbridge as well, but generally I run both of them cold together just to get the FSB very stable for everything, not just single for that stuff. Okay, finally I got the W Prime 1024 amp top score. Bad efficiency. There's something going on with the operating system for sure. So uh, 262.921 previous top score by Quick Mew. Quick Mew 269.359 something. So like uh, six and a half second improvement or so. But this was a like, much higher CPU frequency. So I need to work on the efficiency. Okay, it's a start of interest. I'm gonna try a bit higher on the W Prime 32. Eight point two or three. And okay, that's the new Pi-Pass top score, finally. Issues with the other motherboard. 19.8A previous top score, 19.89 by Quentic. Very close. He ran at 580. This is uh, 580 FSP, this is 572. So pretty awesome. That's new stop score in 1M. 10, 125 previous stop score. 10, 250 by Quentic again. I think we got it. We got it. I think we got it. Yeah. Four point seven. 
Yeah, 4.7. Four seven twenty one. Four seven four seven. Four seven six six. Okay. And okay, that's the super bike, 32 M top score with the Q9450. Not easy. Again, I was having a sub 10 minute run, but loop 18 crash, same with the other C as with the other CPU. So previous top score is uh, 10 minutes, 23 point something. So this is uh, like 14 second improvement, definitely all right. 44 A1, 560 times eight. Memory close to 1500, 554, 1648, common rate 1, Astro P45X3 Deluxe. So now I have everything valid, 5 plus 1 M, everything. And okay, I actually forgot to make the wrap-up video with the Q9450 back in uh, like earlier to mid part of June of this year when I was running these scores. Now it's already late August as I haven't had the time to wrap up all of these CPUs. But anyways, this, this was actually one of the more popular end locked York field CPUs along with let's say Q9, Q9650, Q9550, Q9400, 9300 and so on, some of the 8000 series models. So it, so it was actually pretty tough to get these top scores as the CPU Quentic from France had is actually pretty strong. Stronger than the CPU I use for these top scores but my efficiency seemed to be somewhat decent as I was able to beat his uh, previous scores made in the uh, earlier part of this year. So validation, I didn't expect to get this high as Quentic only got up to like 4683, but I got up to 4766, but with only one core active, but it doesn't really matter because uh, people who got the bugged results, they only ran one or two cores as well anyway. So doesn't really matter but when it comes to validations it's pretty broken with these uh, locked York fields that's why I don't really like it it's uh, something it's very hard to compete on uh, to put it uh, like simply so the actual performance tests as I don't run the newer stuff because these weren't so popular back in the day like Cinebench was just starting to become very like popular among uh, overclockers, reviewers, etc. back in like 2008, 2009, 2010 when these CPUs were kind of the newest I, I could say for mainstream users etc. so uh, I want to focus on the tests that were the most popular when these CPUs were actually run like competitively so PyFast, SuperPy, W Prime, and validation, of course. PyFast was definitely tough. 19.88. It was. It required many, many attempts, and the previous top score was only uh, like 10 milliseconds behind me by Quentic at 4.645, and I ran 4.576. But it's good to see we both used the same motherboard, so he also used. Uh, P45X3 Deluxe, but only dry ice cooling apparently, so his runs are definitely strong. These are heavily FSB limited. The uh, temperature doesn't always give you that much extra benefit, but you need to put the Northbridge uh, on cold as well to get the stability at high FSB and to be able to get the FSB higher as well. But Definitely awesome runs by Quentic from France. So February of 2025. So not that before my actual runs. 1M I ran straight after PyFast. So 10.125 at 4576. That's kind of surprising if you ask me. Because Quentic ran at 4.663. 
10.250. So I got the score up by 125 milliseconds, but almost like uh, 90 megahertz lower CPU frequency. That's kind of interesting. So it resembles, let's say, Tapacar or some OCX efficiency when it comes to Wolfdale 1M from uh, the days in the past against High Pro 5 and all the other top people in the overclocking community uh, at the time. 32M, I was almost getting a sub 10 minute run, but uh, it failed at loop 18 or loop 19. So I only got 10 minutes and 9 seconds flat run. Somewhat okay memories. I think the uh, frequency I used for the sub 10 minute run was at like 5.65 FSP, so over 4.5. Memories at 1500 plus, etc. It would have been awesome to get that score finished, but even this is somewhat okay. The previous top score was actually by QuickView. I think this guy is from Germany and he only used single stage cooling, but on gigabyte motherboard. And finally, the W primes. I still have some of the efficiency issues with these locked York fields in W prime. I don't know if it's the driver, if it's just the operating system. I still haven't figured it out completely, but I managed to do 8.203 at 4.525. Previous top score by QuickMew at almost 8.3 seconds at 4.445 megahertz and 1024 amp. 4576, so pretty much the same. Well, actually, <laughs> funny, I used higher frequency for 1024 amp compared to W prime 32, but hey, it can happen. So 4 minutes 22.921. Previous top score by QuickMew at same frequency he used for W prime 32 at 4 minutes 29.359. So over 100 megahertz lower frequency than what I used, but this is a lot about the efficiency, like I said. So I'm happy I managed to get this done. One of the hardest Yorkfield CPUs this far. I still have a few models remaining, Q9400, Q9500 and the Q9300. So I'm wor currently working on those. So uh, hopefully you like to see my efforts with the Q9450. Please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my, if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.